Oh boy, the queen is back in town. After disappearing from the fashion and entertainment world for five years, Fan Bingbing is back with a show-stopping appearance at the 2023 Oscars red carpet. Her stunning look, a sequin gown featuring a silver plunging neckline and dramatic emerald green sleeves, has already made news headlines as one of the best dressed during the 95th Academy Awards. Just last week, during the Paris Fashion Week, she sat right next to Anna Wintour at the front row of Giambattista Valley, the Italian oak tour designer and namesake brand. Do note. Other famous celebrities, such as the American singer Kira, didn't get that royal treatment. And once again, she is the fashion darling wherever she goes, attracting the most attention, camera shots, and admiration from other front row guests. Bing Bing also dazzled at the Skipperelli show, taking pictures with big names such as Jared Leto. For those of you who don't know, she was the biggest movie star in China and probably the most famous Chinese actress in Hollywood, having starred in blockbuster films such as Iron Man 3 and X Men: Days of Future Past. According to Forbes China's annual Celebrity 100 list, Bing Bing was the number one highest-paid celebrity for many years in a row. Yet completely dropped off the list after 2018, when she vanished from the public due to a major tax evasion scandal, and ultimately got fined for around 100 million. The story would have been much easier if she just got fined and that was it. After all, her net worth should be plenty to cover the fine. However, in China, celebrities who crossed lines legally or ethically are considered flawed. In other words, Fan Bingbing was canceled, like Kevin Spacey. Her TV show, historical drama epic *Baqing Legend*, had already finished production but was shelved indefinitely. The huge losses pushed the production company Tanda Film, of which Bingbing also owned shares, to the brink of bankruptcy. Now that was China. Hollywood did give her a chance with the spy movie Three Five Five, which was announced in May 2018, literally right before Bing Bing's scandal broke out. Even though there were speculations about the potential that Bing Bing would be recast for her role, producers did follow through on their contract, and Bing Bing participated in the filming for a few months in 2019. The movie, which again would have been a blockbuster with other A-list actresses such as Jessica Chastain, Penelope Cruz, and Lupita Nyong'o, turned out to be a huge flop. Partly contributed by the global pandemic, but probably more so because the movie, backed by Chinese investors, bet on the huge Chinese market because their favorite star Bing Bing is in it, didn't even wind up being released in China. Throughout her previously very successful career, represented a range of the most high-end A-list luxury labels in the world. Brands loved to collaborate with her because she always had impeccable taste in fashion, and without fail, always created the most memorable looks during every red carpet appearance. Yet, immediately after the scandal broke out in 2018, all the luxury brands unanimously canceled Bing Bing. Louis Vuitton announced the appointment of Liu Fei as its China investor in 2021, who starred in Disney's 2020 remake of Mulan, replacing someone who had long been the face of Louis Vuitton in China for many years. Well, that someone is Fan Bingbing. In the five years since then, she had been keeping a very low profile, occasionally posting on social media about her makeup and styling tips. While promoting her namesake skincare and sheet mask brand Fan Beauty, before this big comeback during Paris Fashion Week, Bing Bing marked her official return to the movie world by attending the Berlin Film Festival to promote her first film after five years, Green Knight. Every film festival is like a fashion runway for her, as always, and she didn't disappoint with several statement looks. Now you may ask, do all of these mean that she's officially back on the scene? 
Well, it's still too early to tell, and definitely not the case in terms of regaining her influence in fashion. For example, was she was given prime seating next to Anna Wintour during the Jean Baptiste Valley fashion show. Do keep in mind that she just appeared as a guest, not as a brand ambassador. Luxury brands have very stringent requirements of their brand ambassadors. Throughout the duration of their collaboration contract, celebrities have to be maintaining good conduct and be very careful about not producing any negative news, which can hurt the brands they endorse and can even incur huge compensation fees due to breach of contract if they have big scandals such as legal charges, extramarital affairs, and so forth. With China still having a media ban on Bingbing, and judging from her recent high-profile appearances across the fashion weeks and film festivals, it's likely that she is plotting her return by branching out of China and pivoting to the international stage. Her agents did manage to, in the last two years, get her on the covers of some fashion magazines' non-China editions, such as Vogue Singapore. Numero Netherlands and Elvisel Italia. But when it comes to her core profession as an actress, what made Bing Bing extremely successful before was the huge Chinese movie market behind her. But without that, it's not clear how much she can stand on her own. After all, even if the fans in China are dying for her to return to the big screen, the regulators and cautious investors aren't going to make that happen anytime soon.